So we're here on day four. Forest is running, huh? David's got a couple of moles he made up without me. Let's see how they go. We're going to hit record, but it looked like the pours went well. The only thing I'm not liking is that a couple of these screws aren't actually sitting down. I'm going to have to pull them, redo them. We think we got enough room for this one in here. Pretty close. That looks alright. I think so. It's not shiny. Hard, hard to, yeah, hard to tell without having all the sand brushed off it, but it doesn't look as bright as some of them. Yeah. I wonder why. Because that's new Petrobon. Yeah. I don't know if it's the... I don't know. Maybe tuned, had the furnace tune may have had some effect because it was hard to see the... You know, the, how much... Well, it was already liquid, so I mean, it, it's possible we overheated it a little. It is possible. It didn't seem like it was... It wasn't like <laughs> glowing yellow hot or anything, but... Well, hopefully it'll be usable. I think so. You don't care if I just break a piece off this? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're for. They're for all of your random shimming needs. All right, now the pattern won't wobble. Also a little darker. Hmm. Maybe that we overheated the aluminum the more they think about it. Yeah, it really snuck up on us. Yeah. Okay, it's a smaller piece. Looks good though. I mean the details there. Hopefully it's yeah. They got it numbered, eh? Good idea. Yeah. You wanna yeah, lose track of which one's which? Come on, but mustard gas is delicious. It's in the name, mustard. Yeah. Fun times. And here's the first piece that we poured today. It's still kind of hot. It's a little, a little less lustrous than some of the others. We think we might have overheated the aluminum quite a bit because it kind of took us by surprise that it was ready. But everything's there. We're pretty sure they're good. All right, we got the drag round up. A couple hours later, a lot of coping and dusting and blowing out and vacuuming. I think we got it. I think it'll pull clean. There's not much draft on the two ends. But these edges should be fine. Right, I'm gonna stop filming and do the do the cope. And come back. Finally got this big thing rammed up. The cope, the drag I rammed up at first did not work out. It stuck to the cope, even though we had lots of parting on there. So, but the cope was still good, and we were able to ram up another drag on top of it. So now we just got to figure out how to get this mold down there ready to pour. Yeah, that's right. Ready? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> ah. For 
calculating how much aluminum we're going to need for this thing. And it's bottoming out though. Yeah. Uh, what, what are we doing? We're doubling it or something like that? More or less. That gives us ample. Which just like, yeah, it gives you a kind of a frig factor for gating and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Close. You came close. Whew. There we go. Yeah, it really took a lot. It did. Whew. Ah, not too much. Sorry, my bad. Ah, too fast. Here, my one, dude. Uh, I might have, I might have actually stopped you from doing that right. Oh well. So this is the aftermath of day four at the uh, Davis Foundry, working on these metal boulder pieces. We've got three molds poured today, but we were hoping to get more than one made. Unfortunately, this one was not cooperating. We had to make the drag twice in it. Big mold like this. I don't know who you guys are that say you can make them in a few minutes, but this one took us all day. Well, not all day, but, you know, it's it's almost dinner time now, and I got here at breakfast time. I've done two melts, and other than that, just making this mold. Long day. Oh, no, wait, the runner is on the left. We were going to tilt this thing. We were. That doesn't bite us in the butt. Yeah, we're also going to put weights on top of it and all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, like responsible foundry members. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier to not do things. Boxes of brand new Petrobond. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. The good stuff. Shout out to Petrobond for sale on eBay. Get the best deals, even if you have to import it. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna tear it off by accident. Wow. Looks like there's something in there. Let me put a rock in my mold. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah. oh, it looks all right to me. Yeah. This is, corners on this side look like they're intact. Yeah, we'll have to see if the stuff covered up by sand is all there, but it, it's nice and thin compared to some of the other ones we've done. Right. Shinier so, too. So maybe that's why it's a little shinier because it's not got that. Well, also we definitely didn't overheat shrink, this right? one. Yeah, we were real careful not to overheat the metal too. For the guy on the forums that's making something that's so similar, I thought he was punking me. Here's how we did the runners. There's two gates down there, and the runner's deeper up until the first one. Hopefully, HT1 will approve. Is that 
casting flaw or is that just the form? It looks a little, it's a little wonky there, but I can't decide why it's wonky. We could take a look at the pattern. Yeah. That's probably the it's easiest not, way. It's to... not a problem. It's like, if, if that is a flaw, that's the perfect place to have a flaw. <laughs> to me, it looks like the whole corner's there. No, it's uh, from the From the good side. It's the pattern. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Blame the pattern maker. No. He's kind of an idiot. That guy's got enough problems. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> that one's all finished welding up, eh? Mm -hmm. Cool. Some more big pieces. There's some more that we might have overheated a little bit, but they look good. And this monster. That's a huge casting. And out of all that, we've only had one that uh, just got a scrap because of what was wrong with it? It just had too many inclusions. Too many inclusions. The mold cracked. Um, yeah. That was one of the molds I didn't make. No, nope, definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> but we're happy with this. And the best part is, I get to go home. And you get to clean up the mess. Yeah. Yeah, that's the benefit of uh, working at somebody else's shop. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. That's great. To be no, there. I mean the leaving before the cleanup. Oh. I thought you meant working at this size. <laughs> I, 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 like did, I did. Size. I did. This is really awesome. <laughs> I, could get used to, I could get used to this if I had space to do this kind of stuff at, in, at my place. One day. You can come here. Yeah. <laughs>